If you're a new Darwin X Zero customer, first of all, welcome to the best way to get investment into your trading strategy at zero risk to your own capital. One of the first things you'll want to do after signing up is to get your chosen MetaTrader platform ready for trading. As soon as you've verified your Darwin X Zero account, you'll see a web page similar to this. At the top, you'll see your MetaTrader login, password and server details. Store these securely and don't share them with anyone. Just below, you'll see a list of the relevant trading platform options open to you, based on whether you chose to create an MT4 or MT5 account. Note that you can use any combination of these on the same MetaTrader account, so you could trade with the Windows desktop application while you're at home, and use the mobile app if you're away. This video will cover the desktop version for MT4 on Windows, and over the next 5 minutes, I'll take you through everything from installing the platform to getting it configured to your own requirements, up to the point that it's ready for trading. Clicking on the option for Windows will download the installation package. Click on this and follow the simple instructions. Once installed, you'll need to wait a few moments, and then the MT4 terminal should start automatically. You'll be presented with a window asking which trade server you want to connect to. For your live Darwin X Zero account, choose Darwin X Live. Next, you'll be asked if you want to connect to an existing account or create a new demo or live account. You'll want this option here, because as part of your process to sign up to Darwin X Zero, we've already created your MetaTrader account and provided you with your credentials that you saw a moment ago. You should have received an email with these credentials also. So make sure you connect with the login and password that you were given. Now remember, because Darwin X Zero allows you to trade on a virtual account, you don't need to fund your account with any of your own capital. You'll be trading with virtual money, and that will allow you to participate for investment in Darwinia, and eventually compete with other traders for third-party investor capital, all with zero risk to your own funds. So let me give you a quick tour. At the top left, you can see the market watch. This is where you can manage all of the assets that you want to trade. MetaTrader calls these symbols, but by default, only a small number of symbols will be shown. To add additional ones, simply right click and choose the symbols option. This opens a window where you can navigate the asset structure. And so if you want to add gold to the market watch, you can simply double click that and you'll see it turn yellow. Looking at the market watch, you can now see that this has appeared. So now to open up the chart for gold, simply right click on it and choose chart window. I personally like to have a small gap at the right hand side of my charts, so you can click this icon here and adjust the gap size by dragging this small triangle. Next, you might want to change the look and feel of the chart to meet your own requirements. To do this, simply right click the chart and choose properties. Here, you can display as bars, a line chart or candles, which is my preference. You've also got a number of options for what you want to display on the chart, so I don't like the grid, so I can simply uncheck that here. Lastly, to change the colour scheme, you can select a preset, or alternatively, choose your own custom colours for each aspect of the chart. Once you've got things how you want them, you're going to want to save that as a template. To do this, right click and select Template, Save Template. And you can give this a name of your choice. However, if you want this template to be automatically applied every time you open a new chart, then make sure you name it default.tpl. Now, if I open a new chart, you'll see that template gets applied automatically. If you want to manually apply an existing template, choose Load Template, and you can see that this one also has a number of indicators applied to the chart. If you want to add a specific indicator, that's really easy to do. So let's add RSI, and we'll find that in the Indicators section 
and then the oscillators folder here. And we can simply drag that over to the chart where we want it to be displayed. We then get to set the parameters for this. So maybe you want to use 20 periods and we want it to be displayed in red. And you can choose various other options on these tabs if you want to configure it further. When you're done, just click OK. This is beginning to look a little busy now. So if you want to remove any indicators, you can bring up the indicators list from the charts menu and quickly delete any that you don't need to get it set up exactly as you require. And again, if you wanted to, you could now save this as a new template. If you want to add screen objects, for example, for support and resistance or trend lines, you can use the toolbar to do that. So for a trend line, simply select this icon here and then drag the trend line onto the chart. We'll just change the color and make it a little thicker to make it stand out. You can do that by double clicking it to select it and then right click properties. The last thing I'll show you for this initial tutorial is changing the time frame of the chart. Simply use the toolbar here to select your chosen time frame. If you like, you can drag these sections to the row above to save some chart space. That's it for this video. In the next, I'll show you how to open a trade, set your stop losses to help manage your position risk, and limit orders to take profit. You'll see a link to that video on screen now. Alternatively, you can find a link to all Darwin X Zero videos in this video's description. Lastly, to make sure you get all the latest news and updates on Darwin X Zero, don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts shown on screen now.